You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports. Well, we're going to talk about a judge that stepped out there, appointed from Donald Trump, President Trump, appointed this judge that has now laid the smack down on Joe Biden and his administration as they were trying to push their woke, gender-fluid, gender ideology. They essentially wanted anybody to use any bathroom, for lack of a better way of putting it, including locker rooms. Now, we know one of the things we've heard that's come out of the Leah Thomas drama is the fact that he was going into those locker rooms, and those, those girls on that swim team were extremely uncomfortable. And at times, he was blatantly exposing himself. There were even, there were even some rumors coming out that, that, that he may have been getting aroused while in those locker rooms, can you imagine how uncomfortable those women had to feel, had to be? And the fact that this is what they had to do if they wanted to compete in the NC2A sports. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable that that is where we're at. I'm sorry, this is sick. This is absolutely sick. Very quickly, I am wearing our stand-up 1776 shirt. You can grab it out of the merch store, promo code. USA first, all one word. USA first, all one word will get you 25% off. Let's get to this. Let's get to this right here. Judge blocks Biden admins transgender school bathroom rule. Athletes. This is Judge Charles Atchley Jr. All right. A federal judge has blocked a directive from President Joe Biden's administration that allowed transgender workers and students to use school bath, uh, bathrooms, restrooms, matching their gender identities. God, dog, that's gross. It also allowed transgender athletes to join sports teams corresponding with their chosen genders. The directive was blocked by Judge Charles Ashley Jr. of the Eastern District of Tennessee, a Trump appointee, after a coalition of 20 Republican attorney generals sued last year, Reuters reported. The plaintiffs argued that the federal directive clashed with state laws and prevented states from enforcing their own laws that banned transgender school bathroom use. That's the thing. The, these kind of laws should in no way be federally influenced. No way. It should be a direct reflection of of the Republicans in office in those states. Why? Because the people of those states voted in those Republicans, and those Republicans, you hope, share the same ideals as the people of that state. Okay? Don't be pushing the same ideology that's in Oregon on somebody in Texas or in Florida. You get the point. Judge actually agreed, saying that in his opinion, the states, quote, cannot continue regulating pursuant to their state laws while simultaneously complying with defendants' guidance, Reuters reported. The states also argued that Biden's administration, Justice Department, Department of Education, and Equal Opportunity Commission, the defendants in the case, improperly justified the bathroom director through the U.S. Supreme Court's decision in Bostock versus Clayton County. In this case, Clayton County fired a county employee, General Bostock, for, quote, unbecoming behavior after he participated in a gay recreational softball league. The Supreme Court ruled in 2020 that workplace sex discrimination in Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 should extend to sexual orientation and gender identity. The high court said its decision they were not deciding whether, quote, sex-segregated bathrooms, locker rooms, dress codes violated Title VII. In 2021, after President Biden was sworn into office and appointed new leadership, the Department of Education issued guidance to apply to 2020 case in schools. The department suggested the court's decision should be applied to sex-segregated bathrooms, but Judge actually disagreed. He disagreed. The Supreme Court Bostock, quote, explicitly refused to decide whether sex-segregated bathrooms, locker rooms, 
and dress codes violate Title VII. The judge said in his opinion, Reuters reported, Oklahoma Attorney General John O'Connor was among the plaintiffs, called the decision a major victory for women's sports and for the privacy and safety of girls and women's in school bathrooms and locker rooms, per report. This is unimaginable that this kind of stuff is actually being pushed in the locker rooms and in the bathrooms. I mean, can you imagine? Look, I got told by a relative close to me that works in the public school system that even right here in rural Texas, they're creating special bathrooms for however people gender identify and all that. And, of course, my first response was, I I just want to pull my son right out of public school. Um, I mean, all this is just gross. I mean, it's sick, twisted. I, I don't understand any of it. The worst part is any of it being around children. And young people. It's it's the worst kind of influence I can possibly think of. Thank God there is still Trump appointees out there that can step in and say, No, we're not gonna allow this crap in our in our in our schools, in locker rooms. God almighty. I mean you're just asking for somebody to be able to come in and expose themselves to women. And people in this sick-ass administration and, and the radical left, they're just okay with that. Oh, well, that should be fine. What is their deal with nudity anyway? Why do they want the opposite sex to be able to show their junk to the, to the other side of the coin? And worse, to kids. There's something deeply rooted and wrong there. And they're trying to do it by way of They've slipped it into entertainment. They're getting involved in sports. All these different ways they want to seep that in. Now, Charles Ashley Jr., judge, Trump appointed, says, no, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Thank God. Wow. Unbelievable. Sorry, Leah Thomas. I, I don't think this is going to extend in the NC2A. This is probably going to be more, I would assume. Well, maybe it will uh, for certain states, but I don't know that for sure. Um, I guess we'll find out. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. It is uh, 6.50 in the morning I'm recording, so, you know, you got to bear with me. I haven't gotten all my caffeine in yet. Peace, I'm out. Till next time, Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.